ever since the Brompton patent expired a few years ago, there have been many folding bikes on the market paying tribute to the Brompton. Some look like the original, some bigger and some smaller. And this one has 7 speed and disc brakes. This is the box. It is almost fully assembled right out of the box. You just need to attach a few parts and unfold it. The Brompton style folding is fantastic. And because I have several Bromptons through the years, I can almost unfold this bike in a reflex. This is the RUHM 7 Speed. It is grey color with semi gross finish. The folding method is exactly the same as the original, which I must say it is probably the best folding style available. Not only it is compact, but the parts also interlock with each other, making it very convenient to carry. Comparing it to the original, it is nearly the same size and the same weight. Unfolding it is simply the reverse of the folding, and after a few practice, you don't even need to think of the steps. Once unfolded, it looks just like the original. There are some interesting design details. I think they intentionally designed the hardware to look cute, and they are indeed provide a nice touch of the look. On this bike, they include a rack and it has small wheels on it. One of my wheels is a bit stuck. I have tried to figure out why, but I couldn't. But fortunately, this is not too big of a problem. The disc brake is one of the main differences between this one and the original. Visually, it looks shining shining real trendy. The derailleur looks shining and trendy too, and it actually shifts really well. The speed and accuracy are excellent, and it is easy to use too. The original one is a 6 speed, with 3 internal and 2 external. I wouldn't say it is slow. Once you are familiar with it, you can operate it quickly. However, it is indeed more complicated. This is just straightforward 7 speed external. Similar to a road bike, quite simple and clear and it works really well. It's truly amazing. I noticed the whole rear triangle is actually different. The derailleur cannot be directly swapped to each other. The parts are not interchangeable. The rear triangle of this bike has been redesigned to use this derailleur. They put a lot of effort into the bike to use this derailleur. And you can feel how nice this derailleur is right from the start. The shifting is both precise and quick. You can even downshift three gears at once, just like the road bike. The shifting feels great. The gear ratio suits this bike well. Its gear inch range from 79 to 29. For comparison, the gear inch of the Brompton 6 b is like this. In simple turn, the ratio of this 7 speed is nice. Depending on your strength, the highest gear lets you ride at about 20 miles per hour. In the second or third gear, you can cruise between 15 to 17 miles per hour. When climbing hills in the lightest gear, it's similar to the lightest gear on a road bike. I don't know how long is the history of this 7 speed gearing, but it works really great. Better than I expected, it is simply a nice design. Especially with this setup, changing the rear tire is easier than on the original. This is a real advantage. As for the disc brake, personally I think on this bike, it is more about style than practicality. Because when you carry it around, it is less chance to damage rim brake compared to disc. The rim brake on original is more makes sense. But in terms of style, this bike looks more modern with disc brake, right? Alright, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.